Welcome back to the program. Let's head over to South Africa, where the annual Africa Utility Week is underway in Cape Town, with a key focus on Africa's power and energy sector. Now, this event brings together utilities, independent power producers, and key policymakers as they seek to find common ground in understanding the broader dynamics of playing the continent's energy sector. CGTN's Travis Andrews filed this report. When it comes to power supply in Africa, there's no business as usual anymore. The market is changing and adapting so rapidly that the rules for success and failure are being rewritten. That is according to some energy experts who believe a real ground shift in the energy sector is underway. And the Africa Utility Week is where some of the continent's biggest players in that space attempt to jockey for position. South Africa has overcome many of its energy problems and now has somewhat of an oversupply, which does bode well for a sustainable grid. All signs are pointing towards a more stable energy sector going forward. All of those REAP projects that were signed now a month or two ago, um, those will be going ahead and those will be integrated into the grid. So that is already happening. That's going to be uh, rolled out over the next couple of years. Um, and then obviously the uh, coal projects, Madupi and Kosili, those look like they're going to be finished. The government signing of 27 independent renewable energy agreements is seen as a game changer, which opens up the market for foreign direct investment. With the Western Cape being the hub for wind and the Northern Cape the destination of choice for solar energy. China already has major investments in both sources of energy here and sees so much potential for growth that they've set up shop in the country, which created much more needed jobs. Uh, Africa, uh, especially South Africa, is that there are big potentials on this energy side. I mean that we notice on this and we decide to bring the factory here. We even have uh, uh, opened our new factories for the meters in uh, South Africa in the Joburg. It is going to be for the South Africa but also for the neighbor Africa countries. Going off the grid is a trend that has been growing and technologies available now have made it far more cheaper and efficient. Households who have taken the step are already reaping financial benefits of renewable power. The decentralization of power can only be good news for consumers who have often been at the short end of the stick and that could apply more pressure on ESCOM's bottom line. Uh, we'll probably be le uh, um, less dependent on the major grids and more dependent on uh, and major growth in the DIY market as I call it. So I foresee that a lot of the households are going to go off the grid and most of the light industrial corporations are going to sort uh, their own solutions, which will be either going off the grid or forming microgrids. South Africa will, over the next few months, release its updated integrated resource plan, which should specify how much energy is going to be sourced from the different technologies, including renewables, coal, wind and nuclear for baseload supply. Travis Andrews, CGTN, Cape Town.